welcome to the video for today. Today we are going to make popcorn in a popcorn box and for that I made this print file that you can find in the info box below. Let's cut out one of these. Now we are just folding all the folds or bending them and for that I'm using this flat nose plier uh, and this is um, a really great tool for bending these um, small paper things. If you don't have this tool you can always use um, one of the legs of a um, scissor and kind of line the scissor leg up with the line where you want to bend and then bend it over that. That works very well as well. Or you can always score it with a needle first and then bend it, but that just take a longer time. After bending, I am going to glue this together to the little uh, box for the popcorn. In the info box below you will also find a print file for the popcorn logo here and you will find a link for my 3D print file for the popcorn 3D printed box. I printed a few of these boxes on my resin printer. I printed out the logos here on water decal paper and I gave it a bit with a um, spray glaze, a spray can glaze. And um, I actually think I gave it three layers, let it dry really, really good before I continued. And here I'm placing a logo on the front and on the back of the box. Then I used my red Vallejo paint and painted on the stripes on the box. And I did that on all four sides on this one. And I actually also um, painted the top of the box red. Uh, to decorate the edge around it. And I am going to let the paint here dry while I am going to concentrate about making the popcorns. So I made a video a long time ago about popcorn. I will link that in the info box below. Um, but I'm going to show you one more time. I am using a tiny bit of soft pastel here in a light brown color. And I rolled out a piece of uh, white clay. This is opaque white in a snake and I'm just cutting a tiny piece of it off and making a dot of that and then I am doing that again and in this dot I am poking my um, ball tool into it to make kind of a um, hole into it and then I'm using a tiny bit of the soft pastel to color this little hole um, inside and I'm doing that one more time and placing that on the other side of this little first rolled ball. I hope you understand this all. But that's how I do it. I'm going to show you one more time. So first rolling a tiny ball, then rolling another tiny ball and poking this um, indent into that ball and place that on the first ball. And then I do one more again, roll it a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be um, even rolled. It doesn't really matter. And then you just poke your dotting tool in there and then place that onto the first little rolled ball and using a tiny bit of this ochre colored um, pastel to color in these indents. So I can fill two of my containers with popcorns now. Um, this takes up a lot of popcorn, so I want to show you another way to make the container look full of popcorn. First, I am crumpling up some tin foil and putting into these small uh, boxes here, just almost filling it up, but not all the way to the top, but almost. And I'm doing that on both of these two boxes that I have here. Then 
Then I am taking a piece of opaque white clay and I am squeezing that into the box here and making sure that I can't see the silver uh, paper in there or the metal foil. And I'm just using my dotting tool to dot it really nice and um, all over and I'm using a smaller dotting tool. This way it already looks like there is popcorn in this little box here. And again, I'm doing this in both of my boxes. Now I am going to make some fake popcorns to uh, be on the top of this one. So again, I'm rolling a tiny piece of clay, making a dot into that one and putting that onto the surface here and color in the little dot with some of the ochre colored soft pastels. Do as many of these as you like. Do it just like this in the one that is made of paper. Before baking, um, especially the one made of resin here, I am poking a hole in the middle. And I'm really careful with this one while baking, so I only baked it for 5 minutes and that was enough. Please don't use your regular oven for this, because this can be um, quite toxic, I really don't know. I did not smell anything after doing the baking but just to be on the safe side. Then I am taking a few of the real popcorn here, or the loose ones, and I'm gluing that on top of the little hole that we made. And I am uh, also gluing a few more on there just to make it look a little more real here on the top. And to make it look really, really cool and good, you can always put a few loose popcorns on top or at the side at the box. But that's all there is for the video for today, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and happy crafting!